What is up, DG Army Nether Void, also known as John, back with more subscriber replays. This is the Yag Tiger 8.8. A uh, pretty awesome tank. Game, what is this guy doing? Just go around him. And plus, you're a way faster tank. Anyway, whatever. I hate when people do that. Um, this is a pretty sweet little gold tank. The only thing I don't like about it is it costs 10,000 gold, which I think is kind of a ripoff. Um, because it is a TD, and TDs are generally harder to get credits in. Um, than a regular tank with a turret. So let's look at the pen. 203 pen, 240 damage. Same gun that is on the uh, Panther 2. This is the L, uh, the Long 88, which is kind of cool. It's kind of weird that it looks totally different on the Panther 2. And it looks slightly different than on the, the Tiger. It seems like the Tiger it has a longer gun. But anyway, it's a really cool gun, and I think the... Oh, free camera mode? No, I'm fixed camera mode. The best thing about this gun on this tank is it has pretty decent pen for a gold tank. Um, it has a very quick reload rate. That's also very awesome. But the big thing to know about this tank is the shells do not cost 1,000 per shot. See that? 289 damage. Now, on a T-34 or... Uh, well, I don't think the KV-5 has the $1,000 shots. The low does. The low and the T-34 have $1,000 shells. Uh, I think the shells on this are about 250 or something like that. Uh, you can work that out from the end plate. But um, he shoots a ridiculous amount of shots in this game. And I think the shell cost is like 2800 or something like that. Um, might even be less. I'm not positive on that. But it's very, it's very good. Bam! You're dead. Um, the only problem again is, look at this mobility. It's, it's pretty, not very good. Turning speed's pretty bad. It's got good armor in the front, but it's got some big weaknesses, like this that machine gun turret that's a really easy place to nail it. Uh, the top of the fuselage here is pretty flat, so even though that plate's pretty thick, you can see where the, uh, where the uh, seam is on that thickness on the plate. It's still fairly easy to pen by tier 8 and above tanks. Now, these tier 8 money makers do get pretty good matchmaking. They don't go up against um, tier 10s. At least I don't think the 8.8 .8 does here. I know the T30, T34 does go up against tier 9s and sometimes tier 10s, I, I do believe. Um, which does not help for credit generation. Uh, here he's going to ram him. Ram! Oh, oh, only 100? This big a tank? Man, I would have thought he would have juiced this guy. And bam, right in the, right through the top. Well, right in the cupola right there. Now he's just going to keep driving because he doesn't want this guy to move. Because again, the YAG, the YAG 8.8's main weakness is getting surrounded. Um, also arty, because this thing is so slow. Um, but again, pretty awesome. Always oh, got the super zoom out mod. I don't use this because, although I probably should start using it since it's, it's available for everyone. It's one of those things where if it's available for everyone, everybody should use it just because if you don't, you're at a disadvantage. Um, but it was not really intended for the game. It might even be considered a, an exploit. I'm not really positive on that. Um, how they would ever figure out you were using it, well, maybe with a replay like this, they would know. But, um, other than that, they wouldn't. So that's a, that's the same thing they did with tracers. Um, basically, the tracer, the old way the tracers worked is you could modify that file on the client side, and the tracers from shots would be active for like five minutes. So you could just trace back RD shells and kill RD no problem. Ooh, yes, he gets the shot right on the front. Of that 12 ton, nailed! Oh my god, 12 tons were horrible to play before 8.0, or I mean the patch where they got up tiered, and now they're just might as well just shoot yourself in the face. That whole line is not all that fun anymore, since the bat shot is now tier 10. I mean the bat shot I think is still fun, but it's just not as fun as it used to be. The 1390 used to be a tier 7 and it wrecked people, um, but it had no armor, but it was you know fast and had good damage. And now that it's an 8, it's just a little bit harder to play. And it doesn't matter that much because you get pretty much... Um, did he stop or is he tracked? Wow. Why is the KV-1S going up against the front of the AG-88? Why doesn't he just drive around the side? You're dead. Three kills so far. T-32 getting caught. I don't know what he's doing. He's sitting way back. Probably not the greatest idea he's ever had. The whole enemy team is kind of not being very aggressive really should be. And, and with the, this Yag-88, you got to close on him. You can't just let him snipe you all day. Because you're going to have a... You're going to have a bad day. Like that. What's that uh, meme? Yeah, if you're going to... If you're going to do this, you're going to have a bad day. 
so I might put that meme up if I remember uh, through meme generator. If you go to meme generator dot, dot com or dot net dot well you just just Google it. Meme generator you can go on there and pick out a picture and type in what you want the meme to say and it'll generate that image for you and save it and then you can just use the URL. It's pretty awesome. That's how I do all my memes. Um, so this has been shot a few times on the side. Almost dead. He's about a thousand points down here. And remember, he's got a 1,300 hit points, uh, hit points on this tank. But these shots. Well, this 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 team is kind of not that great. This guy's giving out way way too much side armor. Um, T32 already does not have very good armor anyway below its turret. But he either needs to be hull down or he needs to be using his front armor off the side like this. It's just not a very good idea. Maybe he's trying to get shots in his tracks, maybe, but it's not probably going to happen because unless you're a moron, you know how to shoot. Uh, you, this guy has all the time in the world to zoom in exactly where he wants to shoot, and this 8.8 is accurate enough that he's going to make the shot that he's trying to make. 124 hit points left. Boom! In your face, you're dead. So that dude's dead. Went right through its front track and right into his hole. That front sprocket. Panther 2 just about dead and he's gone. Okay, T32 is pushed. They're finally pushing up on that side. Really too late in the game though. Although they are, um, Cestus Cest team team is losing. I forgot to tell you that this is a game set to win by Cestus, or is it? Yeah, it would have to be Cestus, I think, or Cetus. Cetus. Sorry about that. So it looks like the T32 is basically carving a path all the way to the enemy base there, and really what he should be doing is trying to flank these guys and it looks like he's starting to come back up here now he's hold down great positioning there looks like he's getting uh... he's spotting a little bit for his buddies that are back there 8.8 .8, taking a few hits and he's not giving out too much side armor here well, i don't know what he's doing now he's driving into the rock it's not gonna move bro all right there you go i think he's just trying to get yeah there he goes he's trying to get a little bit hold down Oh, the t32 is trying to close perfect perfect uh... Decision here to track him, not let him close on you, but he just can't get his gun out there. Oh, here we go. He's going to do another track shot to make sure, and he got a um, damage, make sure the uh, T-32 does not close on him. I don't have his, the name up. But this guy's getting juiced. This is exactly how you want to handle this guy. And with the reload rate of this thing, you can, every other shot, just take a track shot on this guy, and he'll never move. Um, looks like it, the buddy, his low is capping. That's... I don't know if that's a good idea, but since they're down two tanks, it might be actually be a pretty good idea. Um, so maybe he can get the cap off. Oh, there we go. You're dead. Matthew Jose is gone. All right, IS. This is going to be an easy kill with that butter armor he has. Can he get it? Yes. Nailed him back. All oh, right, in the cupola. Do it, bro. Do we? You're dead. Enemy armor is juiced. Neat. Now you know it'd be cool if you could change the guy's voices to be like. Enemy armor's juiced. He got wrecked. You know, stuff like that. Boom, you're dead. Stuff like that. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I should make a voice pack like that. Although that'd take a lot of... I wonder how you do that. It might not even be that hard. Oh, KV-1S. Pushing toward the base. Enemy is capping now. The I think that's an uh, SU-152, right? Yep, SU-152 is capping. KV-1S getting juiced from the back. Probably should have taken out the 88 while he had the chance. And now he's not going to have a chance. What is he doing? Get behind cover. What are you doing? You're getting jacked up. The low is going to take him out now. Yep, there you go. Got taken out because he just uh, stood out there getting shot. You know, right when you start getting hit from the back, you got to get behind cover, man. That's what you have to do. Now, now they're going to win. Okay, the SU-152 comes off the cap because he knows he can't win that way. His only chance is to use the 15 seconds he's got to try to get across the uh, map. He's not going to be able to do it. But, you know, he might as well try, right? Always keep trying. Never just quit. Okay, SU-152 with that huge HE gun. Let's see what happens. Oh, he gets lucky and he only gets hit in the track. Because that thing is not very accurate. Okay, victory. Let's go to the end plates. So here's the first end plate to that game. Really awesome game. Steel wall, top gun, and a 2200 point game. Really awesome. Again, that's with premium. Non-premium, it's a 1500 point game. Still really sweet. Look at those credits. 164,000 credits, okay? Without premium, 100,000, 110,000. Really awesome. Now, if you can get this kind of game every time, this would be a great credit earner for you. Unfortunately, um, certain maps are just not really great for TDs, or if your team is not that great, uh, your TDs rely more on their team. 
And I think like a T34 or a low doesn't have to rely on their team as much. They can pretty much do anything they want. Uh, the only problem being the low would be kind of slow. The t Type 59, kind of the same a little bit, except the Type has to rely on their team a little bit. Um, because a Heavy can just push in there, and that's why sometimes a Heavy is a better option. Second plate here, sorted by XP. Or is it? Well, it's not, but you can see he clearly beat everybody out with the 1500 XP. Top XP, no problems there with the two medals. Great little game. Let's go to the last plate here. And you can see, okay, check this out. 39 shots fired. Uh, if you look over here at auto resupply ammunition, 9,800 credits. Now, if this was a T-34, that would be 39,000 credits shot in ammo. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that's correct, which would have reduced his overall income by 30,000 more. Of course, now every shot from this gun is 240 damage, and every shot from the T-34 is 400 damage. But still, what you're basically paying in the T-34, you think of it this way, you're paying uh, two and a half credits per damage. So that's kind of high. In this tank, it looks like you're paying for, let me calculate this, hold on a second. So it's 252 credits per shot in this tank, so that means for you're almost getting a one credit for one damage. Uh, it's much more efficient that way instead of 2.5 credits for one damage. Um, I still think there's more opportunities in the T-34 to get damage. Pro probably the difference would be um, without that 30,000 in, in shell cost, uh, that really makes really changes your credit income. Uh, he would only made like 130,000 instead of 160, and if he's non-premium, he would only made like 70,000 credits. So, really awesome game here. 35 hits out of 39 shots, 31 penetrations. Check this damage out: 5,800 damage on a 1,300 hit point tank. That's ridiculous. That's like four times the amount, over four times the amount. Really awesome. Um, just a great game overall, and if you want to send in your submissions to dgnetsubmissions at gmail.com, make sure you send end plates. I will not be showing any more uh, games without end plates. Also, I need you, uh, basically, I will be showing tanks that I, uh, games that I have not shown that kind of tank yet this season. So like T-34, I've already shown that tank. I can't, I'm not going to show it again. T-29, just look back through the uh, playlist, and you'll see the tanks that I've, I've shown in Season 2. I also will not show the same uh, another game from the same person uh, this season. So anyway, take that into consideration. Tell me what you think about this tank.